welcome back to 10 Minute Talk with Liam Barden this week. Say hello, Liam. Hello. Liam, where are you from and what's your age? I am 13 and I am from a little town called like Gravesend. It's really near London, but yeah. Nice. We're going to be asking Liam some questions like we did with Shay last week. Different questions, some the same. Uh, but different ones for Liam um, and then he's going to show some tricks this will hopefully be a two-part series to this if the second recording does not fail but let's get into it so Liam we ask this question always at the start uh, when did you start magic um I'm not so sure like probably like four or five like because one Christmas like most boys or girls get like a magic set or something like that yeah and i got a magic set and it was like a marvin's magic one of those massive ones yeah um and i kind of went through like all the little props and stuff and i didn't really know what to do and i couldn't be asked to read the instructions so my dad like kind of figured a few bits out and then he showed me and i was like so then i really wanted to learn how to do it so then he taught me and then i i was doing it and showing everyone and they were like what and then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, I just kind of like progressed from there. Yeah, a lot of people, when they get their first magic set, if they started young, uh, usually learn a couple tricks, they like it, and then give up and go on to something else. But people who carry yeah. on doing it are the ones who actually find a love for magic and they really want to commit to it. Being like, because I think it's the reaction that people, that the magician experiences from other people getting the good reaction that makes you yeah definitely yeah um what types of magic do you perform well um i i do a lot of card magic um i do a lot of card magic because i like kind of grew up doing card magic um yes yep. so, like in marvin's magic sets that was like a big thing in it um so i i grew up learning like like Spengali routines and all things like that and then I just kind of enjoyed card magic I kind of like understand I kind of understood cards and and I learned different techniques and stuff with cards and then um new card sites and stuff like that so I mainly do cards and then sometimes I do like rubber bands um I mostly do like close-up kind of magic and uh and a bit of stage. I do quite like stage magic. Um, yeah. But it's just whether I can get the gig for stage. I've seen a lot of your magic and you do do some um, quite out of the ordinary stuff with um, like just random stuff. Yeah. And I love I love putting a story to my magic. Because um, like on my social media, some of the stuff doesn't really have a story. And sometimes I'm just doing it to a camera. Um, but when I'm doing it in real life, I really love to add that story. Because then it really like mean something a bit more yeah um if you could use one word to describe your magic style or you as a magician what would it be one word interesting interesting so you want to keep people engaged with your magic instead of it being like here's a magic trick i can do this right and yeah engaging them with an interesting topic yeah because i think like the main part of magic isn't just the trick it's more about how you present it and the story that goes with it and what your like character and personality is yeah um how do you share your magic um mostly on like social media at the moment um yeah. and then i love going out and doing gigs sometimes i just go out in the streets and show random people and stuff um yeah wherever i can show magic or get a gig i'll go for it um what social medias are you on i'm on instagram trilla tiktok facebook i think that's everything oh and on youtube but i barely barely post on youtube a lot uh which one do you use most engage with your audience most definitely instagram um, it's just the easiest one for me, I think, um, and it's the one I've got the most like reaction and stuff from, um, because I got like two point five million views on one of my videos on Instagram. Yeah. So I'm really proud of that. Um, so I mainly just go on Instagram and post on Instagram and engage my audience and stuff on Instagram. But like, all the all of the other stuff, um, 
is kind of just uh, reposting stuff from my Instagram. How many followers do you have? Or do you know? Like, on Instagram, it? on Instagram, I have on Instagram I have two thousand nine hundred and fifty four at the moment. I think. Nice, getting close to us three thousand. Yeah. What's your goal for your followers? We're just gonna see how it goes. Yeah, I, I, my goal, my big goal is ten, ten thousand. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, my goal is to like be up there with like Luca Goldman and and maybe Dan Rods and yeah, all of those big, yeah, Joel and all of those big um, magicians on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what got you started with social media? So what got you into it? That's a very good question, actually. So I never really thought about doing magic on social media and stuff. Um, but uh, when lockdown started and things, uh, I didn't really have much places to do magic and stuff like that. But it didn't start just because of lockdown. It started actually because of a competition I entered. It was like a vanishing ink competition and to win a book. Um, I entered this and I actually do a magic trick with an egg. So I did this. It's still on my um, Instagram. If you scroll all the way down, <laughs> it's there. Um, so I did this magic trick. I didn't win the competition. But then um, all the people that followed me, I think I had like 500 followers at the time. Um, all the people that followed me were like, oh, can you, sh can you show more magic tricks? I really enjoyed it. I really want to see some more magic tricks. So then I posted a few more and a few more and a few more and a few more. And it just kind of started. And then... Um, and I did like a charity thing where I posted a, a video, a magic video every day. Um, so that went really well. And I got like um, £14,000 from that. Whoa. Um, uh, and that went really well. And then, um, and then I started doing reels, which was new for Instagram. And then my third one, I think I posted on reels, got 2.5 million views. Yeah. So that was incredible. And I think I had like, uh 800 followers and then it just sh shooted up to 2000 and that was just mind-blowing so yeah that's just how it all started check out his instagram and all his other social media i'll put it in the bio uh but the big question is social media or in real life performances definitely real life um because in real life you get that immediate reaction you get like and you get to tell a story more because with with Instagram or TikTok or something like that, you've only got like one minute. You've got one minute to show something to the audience. And that first few seconds is whether the audience is going to scroll away or stay there. So you've got to really make it interesting in those few seconds. But in real life, you've got how long you, you want to really engage with that audience and blow their minds as many times as you want yeah um what job do you want in the future do you uh, like whether it's going to be magic or non-magic which what job do you aspire to have i actually want to be an actor um a stage actor um but i do love my magic and i really want to learn more and study more about magic um which could be just like a side job if i'm not getting too many um uh gigs on on stage and in the West End, I really want to be a West End performer and st stuff like that. Um, but if I'm not getting much of that, then of course I'll still do magic probably. But definitely still in the um, performing genre of jobs. Okay, now Liam's going to show us a um, a couple tricks. Are you ready, Liam? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see it. Okay, so. Um, Human beings, ourselves, um, we don't know everything about this universe. Um, we created electricity, but we still don't know everything about it, even though we created it. Of course, nature can do its own things, and, and things we build can do its own things. So we still don't know everything that can happen with them. Now, um, these wired earphones, which pff, no one has anymore, <laughs> um, they can do actually some pretty strange things. Um, if we could actually take a five-pound note, um, just like this, no holes in it whatsoever. Um, and we can take the headphones, of course. Watch the headphones. As they actually 
pass through the five pound note just like that that is super crazy and we can actually rip that five pound note out of there and that's completely solid there there's no like weird magnetic stuff there that is proper right and there's of course no holes whatsoever in that five pound note wow. now that's of course one thing you can do with some earphones um but you can actually do some weirder things let's try something with some food actually some polos um with this um polo right here okay watch the polo i'm gonna put it in my mouth watch the wire watch Nice. And just like that, oh. the photo leap Ow. right onto the wire, just like that. That is so cool. Thank you. All right, I think that is going to no wrap problem. it up for this uh, uh, part. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you next week for uh, part two. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Yep. Make sure to check out Liam on social media, Facebook, Instagram, everything. We'll put his details in the bio. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see Liam's next one. Press the bell and then you'll be able to see when uh, I upload the next one. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.